な。Prepare to meet your doom!
looks easy. Don't get care careless. And here we are. Welcome to Mount Temza. These are human footprints, right? There sure are a lot of them. Could it be the hunting blades? That, or it might be the knights. But why would the knights be here? Well, Flynn was looking for Apathea too. If that's what the hunting blades are doing here, then the knights could be here for the same reason. Why is everyone scrambling to get their hands on Epithea all of a sudden? It was so pretty, all sparkly and glittery. I'm sure it's incredibly valuable. We never had the chance to get an explanation from the Dawn. If Judy will clue us in on what she knows, things might clear up. Judy, I wonder if she'll tell us. I don't know. It's up to her whether she'll talk or not. Of course, if she decides not to. Yuri! You guys, come look at this! This is crazy! What the heck is this? The mountain's been... flattened. What could have happened? Is there really supposed to be a town here? Well, it was here ten years ago, that I'm sure of. But I can't vouch for what's happened since then. Ten years? That's quite a ways back. What were you doing way out here? Uh, well... <gasps> that voice! Is that you, freak? Here's hoping everything's alright. Let's hurry. It's even worse from up close. I've never seen a hole this big before. There's no way this could have happened naturally. It looks like something exploded here. An explosion? Are there monsters that can do something like this? They were, but those monsters were all wiped out. What do you mean wiped out? What you see here, this was a battleground in the Great War. 
What? Really? So that means humans and Entelakea fought here. The humans were victorious, but there were scarcely any survivors. The facts behind the war are shrouded in darkness. Not even the official government histories give many details about what happened. So the Entelakea did this to the mountains. Terrible power. The Great War. Ten years ago. That must have been when you were a baby, Patty. I... But this is the first time I've heard that a battle took place here. The Empire's kept a pretty tight hold on information about it. They've got a lot of secrets. You should know that by now. Thought it was strange that monsters would wage war against humans, but... What they didn't want us to know was that those monsters were actually into Lakea. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Raven. You come across a lot if you live long enough, kitties. Okay, enough history lessons. We came here so we could look for Judy. The monster's voice we heard just now. What if they've already got Judith cornered? Judy's really strong. There's no way she'll go down easily. Of course not. Besides, I've got to give that dragon freak a beat down. I can't let a monster beat me to the punch. Yeah. Let's hurry. Man, the Great War. I mean, leaving a gaping hole where a mountain used to be. I still can't believe how much power the Antilochia must have had. How could the humans fight beings that powerful and not get demolished? I just don't get it. Indeed, the Great War may still hold secrets we haven't uncovered yet. And I'll bet those secrets are hidden somewhere in this mountain. Yeah, but the war's over now. It can't have anything to do with us, right? I hope so, but... We do battle with all our might! Let's go. This looks easy! One shot should... Do...
<laughs> yeah. Don't get care careless. This is my victory pose! Get ready, I'm taking you down. That's over. Thank you! I was just thinking about what Judy said. Bowel saved me during the war. I just realized that maybe she was talking about the Great War when she said that. So maybe she fought against the Empire with that dragon freak during the Great War? It'd be kind of sad if Judy was an enemy of mankind. Maybe Raven can tell us. You fought in the Great War, didn't you, old man? Huh? Why? I think only someone who was on the scene would know so much about the war. Really? But there weren't supposed to be very many survivors, right? Very true. I thought I was gonna die back then, too. Ah, <sighs> if only I'd died then. Things would have been so much easier, too. If only you died? What a weird thing to say. So, did you ever see Judith during the war? No, not a chance. I may be a player, but ten-year-old girls are definitely off-limits for me. Oh, jeez. And it sounds like Judy didn't participate in the war. Right. I mean, if it was ten years ago, she'd be nine. That's even younger than me. Hmm. I feel like I never saw Ba'ul either. Maybe they ran away from the battle? So it was really the Antelakea who fought in the battle? Yes, I guess so. Though at the time, we thought they were only a really terrible breed of monsters. But, wow! You were really in the war, huh, Raven? That's so cool! I thought only Imperial Knights fought in the war. Maybe I'll tell you more about it when you're older. Oh 
man. All right, let's go. That was a nice break from things. Thanks! Get ready. I'm taking you down. Let's Resound, oh cry of victory! Ooh, now's our chance. It's nothing personal. This is a Critian city? More like the remains of one. There might be some treasure around here. What do you think Judith would come here for? Suppose it wouldn't make much sense to say she was feeling homesick. Tyson and Nan. Hey, nobody lays a hand on one of our own. If she's broken our laws, we'll settle this amongst ourselves. Now get out of here. We're only trying to follow a monster we're hunting. This doesn't involve you. Okay, this is getting us nowhere. Let me at him! You're right. It's just a waste of time trying to talk sense to people like this. Anyone who interrupts our conversation is going to be taking a long nap. Leave. Now. Or do you really want to do this? Judith! You followed me here. Yeah. We're here to settle things for the sake of the Guild. Judith! Tell us everything you know! Why you destroyed the Blastia. About the Apatheia and the Entelikea, their relationship to Pharaoh. All of it. And even though you're one of us, 
Your answers will decide your fate. Punish the unjust, was it? Honestly, I don't know if that's really a good thing or not. You've already come this far. I suppose there's no going back now. Come. Yuri, what did you mean about Judy's fate? If there's one thing the Dawn's last moments taught me, it's that I've been too soft. If a part is infected, you cut it off before it infects the whole. Even if it's a comrade, an Antilochea, or a friend. You mean even if it's Flynn or Pharaoh? Yeah. It's the path I've chosen for myself. I... The Hunting Blades again? We didn't just cross paths this time. We're after the same thing. We just might have to fight. If it does come to that, you guys don't have to worry about me. But we can't keep Judith waiting. Let's go! Carol... Our boy's growing up. Yeah. Isn't there some way we can avoid fighting the Hunting Blades? I hope so, but it's pretty much up to them. Yep. Let's just get it over. For when? stories of a Critian town, but I never knew where it was. Me too. Didn't expect it to be on Mount Temza. They must really value their privacy to build a whole town on a mountain. Is there something they don't like doing in front of other folk? Critians are a secretive lot to be sure. Still, I'll make this quick.
This one's pretty tough. This one's for... So, you are aware that this place was the ground on which the Great War was fought? Yeah, we heard from the old man here. The Great War was sparked by a type of Blastia. What? This was not a Blastia that had been excavated. It had been constructed in the city of Temza using a new type of technology, the Hermes Blastia. Hermes Blastia? I've never heard of it. And if you say it was newly built... I didn't think you could make a new Blastia. The Hermes models were even more effective at converting air into energy. They were intended to... revolutionize the technology of Blastia. But something went wrong. The Blastia using these Hermes-type formulas required massive quantities of air. The air crina began producing abnormal amounts of air in order to compensate. That would mean the end, not just of humanity, but all life on this planet! Just like we saw at Cave Mach and the Weasand of Kados. Wouldn't like to see that happen everywhere. The Intelakea realized the dangers of the Hermes Blastia before the humans, and they moved to destroy them. Which created a conflict that grew until it eventually became the Great War. So then the Entelikea fought against the humans to help the planet? But why didn't they tell the humans how dangerous those Blastia were? Neither side probably cared much if the other brought itself to ruin. There's never been any love lost between humans and Entelikea. Probably didn't talk much. Or maybe there was another reason. But what does any of this have to do with you, Judy? Temza fell to the flames of war, and the technology of the Hermes Blastia was believed lost. Wait, you mean there are still Hermes models in operation? Yes, at Rago's mansion, Emmet Hill, Gosforost, not to mention. The Ceres Blastia on the Fiertia. That new Ceres Blastia must have been a Hermes Blastia. So then you've been destroying the Blastia in place of the Entelikea. You could have mentioned that. Why didn't you say something? Were you gonna save the world all on your own? Are you stupid? What was that? Baul! Nan! It looks like we found our mark! You will not pass! You're a person, aren't you? How can you defend a monster? Didn't you get the news? I said nobody lays a hand on one of our own. We won't allow that! Not even from you, Nan! 
We were having a conversation over here. Butt out! I can't believe these guys. Such scallywags. I don't usually like to get my clothes dirty, but... Everyone. Have the Hunting Blades added people to their list of targets? Nobody who associates with monsters can rightly call themselves a person. Carol, have you forgotten the credo of the Hunting Blades? Step aside. Monsters are evil, and the Hunting Blades pursue that evil. But the Entelikea aren't evil. They were fighting to save the world. Don't let them fool you with that credo nonsense. They're on a job. They're here for the Apatheia. Huh. It seems you won't listen to reason. If you have no intention of moving... You leave us no choice! should be killed! That's the rule of the Hunting Blades! He's not a monster! He's just... This... I don't care what you think of monsters. I will protect Baul. Even if it costs me my life. It's pretty stupid to think anything out of the ordinary is automatically evil. Aiding monsters is punishable by death! The Baul's different! than monsters. They just got instinct. You got brains. So what's your excuse? Shut up! We hunting blades will not back down! So I guess we just gotta fight this out. Don't blame me for what happens. I have an idea. Rise, a light of life. Don't move. Healing circle. Sharpen the energy. You're not getting Have an idea. Sharpen thy rage and 
I overdid it a little. You don't show mercy to your enemies. I will protect Baiul. I'm not done yet. I did it!
Nan, I'm sorry. Done. Piece of cake. I guess I'll go easy on them. Yeah. What's happening? Baul is trying to evolve as an Intelikea. It looks like he's suffering. Baul, come on. You can do it. No! I want to heal your wounds, but there's nothing I can do. My power is poison to you, isn't it? Healing wounds isn't your power, Estelle. What do you mean? Don't you remember Bellius' words? Power corrupts. But you... You are different. Never lose that kindness. The compassion you so readily show to others. My compassion for others? Your thoughts are reaching Baul. I'm sure of it. All we can do now is hope for the best. Well now. Amazing! I knew you could do it. Your partner seems like he's gonna be just fine. Yes. Thank you all for helping to protect him. This is something I couldn't have done alone. You're one of us! Of course we'd help! That's right! Didn't I tell you? You got through to him. <laughs> you make it through to Pharaoh as well. Will you be going to meet him? That's up to Estelle to decide. I'll go. It's been the purpose of my journey after all. Are you sure? What if you end up getting killed? Even still, I've got to stand firm on this. It won't be too long before the Hunting Blades send reinforcements. How about a change in scenery before they show up and spoil the party? There's only one path down from here, though. We're bound to run into them. The skies are wide open above us. Have you lost your mind? Get on. We'll fly as far as the Fertia. We can finish talking once we arrive.
duty! She's sleeping. She must be exhausted. Yeah, I mean, she just killed over! Wasn't expecting that! I bet she watched over Baul the entire time he was evolving. She probably didn't get much sleep. She probably had no idea when the hunting blades would attack, either. She was putting up a brave front, but she must have been near the end of her rope. She's just dumb. She doesn't know how to express what she's feeling. And I'm really glad we're able to help Judy out. We can finish talking with her tomorrow. We should let her sleep now. In fact, I wouldn't mind a little shut-eye myself. We still haven't heard Judy's side, so we can't say anything, but... She sure caused the guild a major headache, breaking Blastia's all on her own. There's no getting around that fact, no matter what her reasons. We have to settle this. Man, I hate waiting. Are you thinking about Judy? Yeah. I'm wondering what we should do about her. It's true that she broke the guild's laws and betrayed us. I always thought that a guild's strict adherence to its own laws was what kept it together. That there could be no exceptions, no lenience for those who would break the laws. But... She did what she did to save the world. Judy is destroying Blastia because she knows it's the right thing to do, even if it makes people hate her. Yep. Judith didn't break our laws in order to do something bad. I know this now. I'm gonna talk with her about it and give it some more thought. I'll figure this out eventually. Oh yeah? Maybe if I become a little more decisive, Nan will listen to me too. So does an old man past his prime fit into the picture at all? What are you whining about, old man? Why are you past your prime? Hmm. What Judith was talking about before. Hermes Blastia, was it? Blastia created with techniques that should have been lost in the war are still active. Do you know what this means? I guess someone who survived the war brought either Blastia or those techniques back with them. If that person was still using the blast yet, even though he knew it was harmful to the Earth, someone like that would have to be quite the villain indeed. Old man, don't tell me you... Hey now, yours truly was nothing but an innocent youth on the straight and narrow back then. I wouldn't do something like that even on my worst day. <laughs> I was just trying to trick you into giving yourself away. You're a slippery one. Son of a... When are you gonna learn some respect for your elders? Don't fall overboard. Oh, I'll be careful. Yuri, the world sure is big. Yeah, even though we're flying this high in the air, we still can't see everything. If the world's this big, I guess it makes sense that there'd be so many things we don't know. It might not make that much of a difference whether I get my memories back or not. Are you saying you'd be okay with not getting them back? I'm saying that I'm not the only one who feels restless and anxious not knowing the truth. Everyone's worried about something. Even you and Estelle. You think so? Isn't that why everyone's here? Isn't that why Judy came back? And is that why you're here too? I don't want to be alone. You know, you're being pretty honest today. I'm always honest. Really? Well... Maybe you are. Oh, Yuri. Sorry to interrupt while you were thinking. Ever since I took Bellius's life without meaning to, I've wanted to know what it means to be the child of the full moon. So the same thing doesn't happen again. 
I've always thought that it was my duty to know. But after what happened to Bellius... That's how everyone is. They do something, they learn. They do something else, they learn more. You too, Yuri? Yeah. Maybe if I had known everything ahead of time, I wouldn't have made any mistakes. Hmm. <laughs> There's only one thing I can say for sure. What's that? Maybe you wouldn't have made any mistakes, but it sure would have been boring. I really wonder. Is that the core from the Saras Blastia that Judy destroyed? Yes, it's definitely cut with a different formula than a usual core. It looks like what she said was true. She said she wasn't too good at lying after all. To discover that the new technique you created was bad for the world, after what must have been years of research. I can't imagine how the person who created the Hermes technique must have felt. Well, what if it had been you? If I found out that it hurt the Earth, I would have to do something about it. But I wouldn't destroy the Blastia like that. <gasps> what the? Nothing. Uh... If only things weren't so complicated. I could have just blasted her into oblivion and been done with it. Hmm. Yuri? Morning. It's a beautiful morning, but even as we stand here, the air is out of balance, and our world may already be dying. <laughs> That's right. Judy! Well, look who's feeling better. In the past, these slight fluctuations of the air have not negatively affected our world. There have always been beings who maintain the balance by sensing changes in the airflow. Beings like Pharaoh and Ba'ul, the Entelechea. So the Entelechea were responsible for keeping the air balanced. For ages, the Entelechea have regulated the air, but the recent increase has been greater than they could control. Which is being caused by the Hermes Blastia. And which is also why you were going around taking down as many of them as you could. Yes, that was my mission. The path I walk with Ba'ul, to whom I owe my life. The path you walk? Now some would even hunt the Intelikea for Apatheia. This has made the mission of the Intelikea even more difficult. Why is everybody so crazy about these Apatheia anyway? I'm afraid I don't have an answer. The air an Intelikea absorbs becomes condensed within its body over time. When its life is at an end, that condensed air forms a crystal, an apatheia. That's all I know. I imagine Pharaoh could shed more light on the subject, though. So apatheia are crystals of concentrated air. If that's true and the energy could be extracted from the apatheia, it would be a source of overwhelming power, I'm sure. Could we really do that? I... I don't know. But if that's possible, there must be tons of guys who want those things. I bet somebody wants to use these things for the wrong reasons. Why didn't you just tell us all this from the beginning? Seriously, we could have avoided all this trouble if you just talked to us. Am I wrong? Even if you had known, there are things not even you could have prevented. What do you mean? I showed up at Heliord, because Ba'ul had sensed a disturbance in the air, 
Where there was a disturbance, there was sure to be a Hermes Blastia. But what I found there was not a Blastia. It was a person that had never happened before. So it wasn't like you were looking for Estelle in particular back at Heliard. Yet for some reason, Baul perceived Estelle as a disturbance in the air. I had to find out why. For the sake of the path I've chosen, it was at that time that Pharaoh first appeared. He seemed to have some idea who Estelle was. My mission was to destroy all the Hermes Blastia. However, Estelle was obviously not a Blastia. I needed to make absolutely certain. I made a deal with Pharaoh, and he agreed to grant me some time. You mean... If it became apparent that her existence posed too great a threat, then I... I would kill her. You what?! Wait, Rita! Settle down. Obviously, Judith reached a different conclusion. All right, I get it. Bellius said you possess a heart of compassion. If you can communicate that to Pharaoh somehow, you may learn what you should do. Hey, there's no real reason for you to fight Pharaoh anymore, right? I mean, we know the Hermes Blastia are what's causing the problem and everything. If we just make sure the Apatheia don't fall into the wrong hands... I still want to meet Pharaoh. I want to hear what he has to tell me. But... Please try to understand. I have to know more about myself and take responsibility for who I am. All right. Sorry, Yuri. I don't think we can decide what to do about Judith right away. I promise not to leave again until things have been settled, as you said. I need to accept that responsibility myself. Let's go and find Pharaoh. We'll finally be getting around to one of the first things we set out to do. We can work out the rest once this is finished. There is a rocky crag in the center of the sands of Kogor. That is where Pharaoh lives. Baul can take us there. Okay, let's go. This meeting's been a long time coming. I can communicate with Baul, but there are still a few things you should know. Like what? Baul can only land on the ground in wide, open spaces, so you won't be able to dismount on steep mountain ranges or in narrow canyons. Can't he land on water? Water's no good either. Really? He looks like he'd be a good swimmer. <laughs> yeah, he'd sink like a rock. Huh, who knew? But that's why we have a ship, right? Right. If you'd like to get down onto the ocean, let me know. Boa will set our ship down there for us. Okay, but what should we do when we want to fly again? Use Baul's horn to call him to you. Baul's... that's all there is to it? Every Intelikea has a special region in its brain that can be used for communication with a special power Critians possess. Huh. So we can get a hold of him by using that. Right. Judith, you're familiar with Pharaoh, aren't you? Is he really as scary as he seems? Well, let's see. Sometimes he's logical, sometimes he's emotional. He can be really scary or really kind. All right, that didn't help very much. One thing's certain, his power is extraordinary, even among the Intelikea. Here's hoping we don't wind up looking like poor old Mount Temza the moment we meet him. If he can do that to a mountain, there wouldn't be anything left if he turned on us. I wish you wouldn't joke about scary things like that. Why should we get scared before we even get there? Especially if he's that strong. Wish I could take it as lightly as you and Yuri.